Hey, what is up guys? So we now have confirmation that Cyber Dragon Finny is coming out in the TCG in January. So anyways, all you non-believers that said they card never coming out to TCG. Oh, look, we got confirmation here on the official Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game Facebook fan page. But anyways, uh, it says coming out in January 2016, blah, 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 Cyber Dragon Infinity. Use your opponent's own monsters to negate his other cards. I like how it says sample. Can't even read the effect. They blurred out, they even blurred it out on top of it. It's like, come on, we already know the effect. We will also be taking a look at Cosmo Light Sword in just one second, but I want to talk a little bit more about this, because what does this mean for the game? First off, that Satana Knight card is going to be shooting up in price, so if you have one, awesome. If you don't have one, well, I guess it kind of sucks. Unless it gets hit in the January ban, like we already see it uh, in the OCG uh, band. Anyways, so if you guys didn't know, Cyber Dragon Nova, it came in a structure deck that uh, never really took off, and it wasn't a structure deck that, you know, I topped every freaking YCS, but anyways, Cyber Dragon Nova, very expensive card now, if you click on both of these, these are actually already sold out, uh, I totally didn't buy these, I swear, anyways, um, if you guys, okay, this one is uh, freaking Zane Truesdale, that's a fake one, anyways, there's one right here for $12, this is the, by the way guys, there's only 8 listings if you type in Cyber Dragon Nova, and you might be thinking, well, why would someone buy this for $12 when the structure deck is $10? right the structure deck is pretty much not going to be available for ten dollars good luck trying to get it but anyways uh yeah if you want to buy it in japanese you got sixteen dollars for that one but those are this is sorting by lowest by the way so um i know there's a lot of other card sites uh keep in mind guys i just want to mention this for some of you guys that are newer to how like the hype cards could go up in price some scumbag websites will actually not let you buy the card. You can add a bunch to the card, you can check out, but then they're going to be saying, oh, we ran out of quantity, and they'll email you and say your order's been canceled. They'll refund you your money, but I just want to mention that as a heads up. So if you see these for like 99 cents, uh, some card sites do do that. I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time. I know uh, it's happened to me when I bought a bunch of cards. I'm like, oh my gosh. BLS is now legal. I bought a bunch of BLSs from a, a bunch of different websites because it was really cheap, and then, yeah, it happened. But anyways, since they didn't let you see the effect, I would assume that perhaps some people are just unaware of what the heck the effect is. We'll check this card's effect out, and then we'll talk a little bit more about Cosmo Light Sword. Anyway, so Cyber Dragon Nova, because, like I said, apparently they're like, yo, you can't read the effect. It says sample over it, and then we gotta, like, blur the freaking text on it. Anyways, two level five machine monsters. Um is a requirement to actually bring out uh, Cyber Dragon Nova. Uh, this card is the card that you actually want to be picking up right now, simply because uh, this card is going to be used to make it. You basically don't need this uh, that much. So anyways, you can throw this on top of uh, Cyber uh, Dragon Nova. That's the main point of this. I'm going to give you guys the brief rundown of this card. So it gains 200 attack and, uh, well actually, let's just go into it, uh, real quick. Alright, so he here's the actual card real quick. So it's Cyber Dragon Infinity, yeah, like I said, you're gonna make Nova, uh, before you make this card. You use the Satellite right to actually bust out this guy and then you throw this guy on top. But anyways, it requires three level six light machine monsters. You're never gonna use that effect to actually make it. You can also exceed someone a Cyber Dragon Infinity once per turn by using a Cyber Dragon Nova you control as material. Exceed materials attached to that monster also become attached to this card. Gain 200 attack for each material attached to it. Once per turn, you can target one other face-up attack wizard monster on the field. Attach this, uh, attach that card to this card as material. Once per turn, during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated, you can detach from material, negate the activation, and destroy it. So it's got 21 attack, but it's usually going to be uh, uh, pretty much 27 because you're going to have two materials attached to it, so that's a boost up of 400. And then on top of that, what you're going to be able to do is steal an opponent's monster and then therefore to be 27. Now you got a 2700 attacker that can negate multiple times. Also, you're going to be absorbing a monster, so the advantage that you get with this card it's crazy. It's basically I win the game, like you said. Um, anyways, um, there's also this new Cosmo card that came out. Um, uh, or get announced for the TCG. It's not technically out yet, but it'll be out very soon. Anyways, you equip it to a Psychic Cosmo monster. It gains question. It says question mark. I believe it says 500 or 900. My eyes are pretty bad. They also blurred the card. Like the resolu. They come on, Konami. Like upgrade your resolution. Like this is literally 2015. Why are we using like you know 1990s like image resolution come on now anyways it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase also if it attacks a defense position monster you get to inflict piercing uh to your opponent if this card is sent from the field to the grave you can pay i believe this is 800 life points uh add this card from uh back to your hand you can only use this effect about once per turn and i feel like i don't know if people will run it it's mediocre I don't know, like I said, what the attack game is. It looks like it's either 900 or 500. 900 obviously is better, and if it goes to the graveyard, you're obviously able to re-add that back. So it helps, I guess, make your card a little bit stronger. Perhaps maybe Farm World can attack over certain things. But I think for the most part, players will probably drop this card. But uh, since you can just go ahead and, like, 
add this card back to your hand for free, essentially. That, that's not too bad. You're going to obviously have to pay some life points for it, but I think the life point cost is not that big of a deal when you're equipping something that, you know, maybe Farm World can attack over. I think that's kind of nice. And then whatever you make, you to equip it to uh, that card as well. So that's kind of nice. I think it's a, it's a, like, it's not a terra bad card, but I don't know if people will play it. I'd like to know, guys, what would you uh, play this card at if you're playing Cosmos? Personally, for me, I don't think the deck really needs this card. I think there are much better cards, like Limiter Removal uh, and, like, Jura Ghetto, just if you really want to increase your attack to run over things. But that's my take on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But yeah, all you non-believers, man, we do have that confirmation that uh, we got this card now coming out into the tcg pretty crazy stuff this card is absolutely amazing but like i said uh cyber dragon nova pretty expensive right now i'd say wait a few days guys the price will drop there'll probably be more on ebay uh once again because someone just bought all of them like straight up because there's only eight listings the card the other day was just a few dollars and now it's like people trying to get like 10 bucks for them these ones are already sold out if you click on them but anyways thanks for watching guys i guess if you if you stocked up in cyber dragon nova's i think you're rich man you made it congratulations but anyways thanks for watching guys it's been your boy will smith Signing out.